The significance of the Customs Officers' Wives Association, COA, on the society cannot be underestimated, as they have continued to contribute positively to the development of the society. This initiative, championed by the National Coordinator, Mrs. Amid Ibrahim Ali, was commended by the COA Semi Area Command, led by Mrs. Chinilo Dara Nandi. She also applauded the Customs Controller General, Ahmed Ali, for his support and the approval for the establishment of the Customs Officers' Wives Association, COA. On a courtesy call to the Semi Area Command, the Area Controller, Dara Nandi, welcomed members of COA and eulogized their commitment and support to the service. The essence of this gathering is because we want to impact on Badagri community where we are operating. And we recognize the role that all of you play, not just in our lives, but in the lives of the community. As custom officers, we are always on transit. All of you here as our wives, mothers, sisters, and even serving officers who are members of COA, help us to consolidate the home front while we are on duty. We are here today to commission the 30 solar street lights at Customs Barrack, Seme, renovated sentry and gate which Kowa Seme Area Command has contributed to the area. Plant 150 coconut trees and also visit the Atinoke Orphanage Badagri and General Hospital Badagri respectively to contribute our quota to the development of Badagri and Environ, and indeed Lagos State. Kowa Seme will be donating cash, food, and beverages to them. Without the support of all the Kowa Seme, these achievements will not be possible. Some of the activities during the visit to the command by delegates of Kowa includes donation of 30 solar street lights to the barracks, unveiling the renovated century gate, planting of over 150 coconut trees within the premises. This, according to the Chairman Koa Summer Era Command, is to ensure productivity and which is part of Koa's future agenda. I think the, the most significant contribution of Koa to Nigerian Consul Service is that uh, they take care of the home front while we traverse the nooks and cranny of Nigeria enforcing custom laws. I think that's the most significant. However, for this peculiar command, the Frontier Command, as you can see, they've helped us. Today, they helped us to renovate our custom gate. They put um, 30 solar street lights for us, and they also helped us to renovate the sentry that uh, has been here. And they planted 150 coconut seedlings that will be start producing in the next three years. Uh, it will not only beautify the ECOWAS uh, uh, complex and its environment, it will also yield resources for them to use in the next three years to start uh, running their secretariat. But again, one other important and significant thing they've done today is to organize an outreach to Badagri community. They are visiting the Achinuke orphanage home where they will uh, donate uh, uh, medical uh, 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 supplies, food, beverages, and cash to the children there in commemoration of the Children's Day. High point of the event was the unscheduled visit to the Achinuke orphanage home and Badagri General Hospital to support the less privileged with cash, drugs, foods, and beverages within the Badagri corridor and environs. This is in line with the mood of the Children's Day celebration. We are doing all that to reach out to the less privileged and then to empower people. It's basically empowerment and then to help to reach out to the less privileged, like the home we visited. You saw the children there. They are physically challenged, so we reached out to help in our own little way. And then the hospital we're here, we are now just to help people who are also less privileged as in maybe financially, to help them sort out their bills and then to give them some of the things they need 
for their daily activities and all that. That's, that's what it's all about. That as you are doing for the less privileged, God will help you more by the grace of God. People will not share in the sorrow that is flying around in Jesus' name. God will help you all these gifts to replenish it back for you in Jesus' name. We thank you. Please come again and again and again like Oliver Twist. At the end of the visit, Mrs. Chinelo Dara Nandi sees the opportunity to employ core members to imbibe and reciprocate such ideologies in their respective communities by contributing their quota to national development.